Hi all and welcome to another guide for Palea. In this video we are looking at rummage piles, how they work and where to find them. Rummage piles are small heaps of leaves and sticks left behind by chapas. For now these rummage piles are exclusive to the Kilima map and have a chance of giving you a new housing item recipe or quest when looted. In total, you can find 5 exclusive quests, as well as 9 exclusive housing decor recipes. Let's talk about where to find these piles and how it works. For now, we know of 10 possible locations which can all be found throughout the western part of Kilima. We'll make sure to follow up with a location guide once we can confirm all of them ourselves. From what we could gather, there's only one active map location per day and it seems to be the same for all players. Furthermore, you can only loot one rummage pile per day with a real life daily reset at 8pm PT or 4am UTC. So with only one pile appearing on the map per day, you have a daily chance of getting one of the items. However, it's not guaranteed that you will get a quest item or housing recipe every time. Since rummage piles work similar to the ancient rock garden or Seki's lucky machine, meaning what loot you get is random, and you also get other items from the piles. This ranges from basic resources like wood or gadgetables and seeds to more useful consumables like, for example, the basi jar or hunter's horn. In other words, and as with most randomized loot tables, there is a certain amount of luck involved when it comes to rummage piles. Now we haven't received all quest items yet, but it seems like completing some of them also rewards you with unique new housing decor items, like for example this cool record player. And if you are wondering what recipes you can get, here's an overview of all 9 items. The developer said that this range is exclusive to Kilima and the rummage piles, and features some really cozy items, namely a firewood holder. A cozy ladder, a porcelain pitcher, a cozy rat hand basket, a laundry basket, a tiered fruit basket, a blanket storage basket, a sewing basket, and a cozy woven basket. We especially love the cozy selection of baskets and smaller items, and we'll be hunting for all of these recipes. Now, seeing this new feature could easily be expanded upon with more loot or locations. We are sure we'll see some new item additions or different housing decor ranges for areas like Bahari Bay in the future. We hope you enjoyed this guide and that you found it helpful. We wish you the best of luck with collecting all of the new items and quests. And if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.